Hey, I'm Dre, and this is Dre Trading. A uh, really good day today, and I think uh, I'll be saying that a lot for days that are just uh, green in general, because um, I'm, I'm still kind of uh, afraid that, you know, there's going to be a downturn sometime soon. I mean, I don't know if it's because of, like, the news and everything, and just, like, everything being awful. <laughs> they just found the, the bubonic plague in uh, China. It's like It seems like every news story wants, you know, Th bad things to happen so you know i don't know if it's just people are going out of their way to find like the next worst thing it's just like oh you know july has to have some sort of thing and aliens aren't showing up so with news not being that great i'm kind of like kind of expecting you know things to go bad for the the market but you know the market keeps on going up and a lot of the headlines i was seeing was like uh markets are up on china rally china rally china rally like all this stuff about like china rally it's just like you know they're discovering like ancient diseases over there it's just like how are things good in china for like the the market and stuff like that i, I i'm not i'm not getting any of it i don't understand anything that's going on with like why the market's up but you know, it was up today, and that's why I kind of feel like on a 400 day, which was like the Dow, you know, it feels like it's a lot more because it feels like the market's just spitting in the eye of reality. So, you know, in all intents and purposes, I feel that I should be losing money, but it's gaining, so that's why, you know, I have an extra big smile on my face because I'm just, I don't understand it. I'm just here you know, watching it and watching it go up. Uh, a lot of my things, you know, individually, you know, they did well. A lot of goofy percentage numbers, I think. I don't know how many last until the end of the day. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess uh, to get right into those, we got um, Tesla. Uh, Tesla was up 138 you know, which is, you know, surprising because Tesla is like a big stock. Usually it's just like the big stocks, you know, like Apple, uh, Amazon and stuff like that. They don't rally, you know, double digit percentages, or at least they don't like often. And it hasn't been like a while since uh, Tesla has done this, but it's kind of odd for, for them to do that. I don't know if they had some sort of new number that came out or what have you. Again, you know, that they were like the number two stock outside of Apple that people would talk about. It's just like, oh, China's not doing well. That's going to close things down. Oh, Tesla. And it's just like, you know, now it's like there's basically a zombie apocalypse in China. And it's just like 13% for Tesla. I don't get it. I mean, I feel that it was like, you know, 20 or 30% ago that it was just like, uh, things in China for the COVID and stuff like that, they were getting worse. Um, so I was like, oh, I feel like there's going to be a second wave of this stuff over there. And we're going to have basically a renewal of all the old hash stories. So, you know, maybe getting out of uh, Apple and Tesla right now would be a good idea and get them lower. Man, would I have been really upset if I did that like 30% ago or something like that. Like, because I, I was only thinking about that a little while ago, and it went up 13% today. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But, you know, why Why isn't it going down? I have no idea. Um, so the next one after that, you know, close second, you have uh, Tilray, which uh, got back into the green altogether for me uh, with this uh, big swing. Only uh, 1.62 altogether. But today they came up uh, 12.79. So that shows you how into the red I was with uh, them to begin the day. But you have Canopy Growth in third with uh, 2.98, Apple 2.68, uh, Smith & Wesson up 2.34. That was one of the more ridiculous ones I saw uh, at some point in the day. It was up like 7%. Again, it's just like, did, you, did they invent a new gun? Like, what did they do to make it go up? I don't know if it's just coming off of a, a long summer uh, weekend. And, you know, I guess there was a lot of stories about, you know, violence and stuff like that um, over the 4th of July weekend. So I don't know if that was it. And those were kind of like the leading stories at the beginning of the day. And, you know, maybe things kind of dampered off. It's a good purchase for betting on things being awful. But, you know, it's kind of, you know, I'm in some ways upset to see it go up because I know it's like the only reason it's going up is because everything's garbage. Uh, so after that was uh, Beyond Meat where we got up uh, 1.62, then you have Take Two up 0.89, AstraZeneca up five, uh, 0.56, then you get into the red for the day, 
you have green organic down 0.28 aurora cannabis down 0.73 DraftKings down uh, 1.94 waifu that was one of the other really weird ones they were up like 10 percent at some point today um again that was kind of going along with when i was seeing all the headlines about you know china's the greatest thing ever you know so um so i <laughs> but you know them being crazy up and down you know is kind of like uh should be par for this the course and i guess the good thing is they only lost uh 2.45 you know they could have lost 20 percent uh with how they are but but who could really be mad at waifu waifu i know you tried your best um, and then you have uh, Nicola down 8.72. I was a little happy to see that down because when it hit uh, $50 uh, at, that, at some point today, I bought you know the same number of shares I have with both of my other purchases. The thing that was upsetting was it kept on going down after that. Um, so it's down to uh, 48.92 right now. So obviously that's a little bit lower than my 50 um so i don't know uh if buying a 50 was a good idea i i mean you know the i saw some news with them and it seems like their uh, ceo is getting kind of he's he's almost gotten kind of the elon musk uh, uh virus where he's now complaining about short sellers and he's complaining about uh, tesla fans kind of like tanking his stock so and i think like on the very same day there's news coming out with uh, elon sending like po posting pictures pictures about like red shorts on tesla because he's always like trolling the short sellers and stuff like that so shorts haha <laughs> funny funny um but uh but it was it's funny for him to do that because it was only like what two months ago he was saying yo my stock is priced way too high. You guys are going crazy with this. It's just like, no more of that. It needs to go down. That, that was around like 800. Uh, that, uh, no, no, no. I think that was around like, uh, like almost when it was around 1,000 uh, that he was saying, you know, this is priced too high. Um, now it's, you know, 1,300. And he's like, ha ha, short sellers. It's just like, what well, you, I don't um but nicola it's being kind of pushed around i think there they did have a story where a lot of people are shorting nicola so i'm kind of putting more money into it thinking it's just like the rubber band that's just like once you know it starts to go up you know the short sellers are going to have to start buying because they don't want to get you know crushed so it'd be like short squeeze if that's the term um so i'm kind of figuring you know there's you know tension going on and once it starts to go up it's going to go up like a rocket um but the the thing is when's the bottom it's just like i was thinking it's just like okay so 50 may have been a little bit too soon 45 40 so it's like i don't know maybe my neck like i have a feeling for 45 just because i've said it um as a price target but maybe 40 is a, a better one uh so my percentage total for the day is 1.54 and looking at the mutual funds uh, since apple did well i'm hoping i did better than the mutual funds Ooh, not with one of them um so mine was 1.54 and i shouldn't be upset when my mutual funds do well what am i talking about Ooh, upset um so one of my mutual funds is 2.05 so that definitely uh beat me uh, another one is 1.61, so that one beat me, and 1.59. So I'm below all my mutual funds. So I did not do well in the day, and it was probably the take two. Take two uh, being one, uh, 0.89, being that basically you know half the amount of my mutual funds. That probably really uh, you know beat me up um, with uh, Apple doing so well, being the 2.68 being above the mutual funds like uh some of the other things i have you know doing a lot you know uh tesla 13 tilray 12 those are great percentages but i don't have that much money into them and i guess with talking about tesla and money you know at the very beginning i think on my first uh episode i did say how many shares i own of tesla which was one uh in my tod um, I have one share of Tesla and because I've uh, said that you know basically it's easy to do the math 
as to you know how much it's worth because you can just look at what um, is worth and stuff like that. So right now, um, Tesla is one thousand three hundred and seventy-one dollars and change. So I have one share of that. So I have uh, you know more than a thousand dollars of you know money with Tesla. Now I bought that at three eighty-five, I believe, uh, if I'm reading that correctly. So my uh, Tesla share has gone up 256% total. So I have made 900, I have basically made a thousand dollars on Tesla with that one share. So, you know, I invested, you know, about 400 bucks into that and I have returned basically a thousand. So I was just bringing that one up because I was looking at him just being like kind of shocked that it's like up so much and so so in such a short period of time that that shouldn't be taken as what the stock market is but that is you know something that can be done just by you know playing the stock market with not that much money i mean you know 400 bucks it'd be nice to have like 400 bucks just laying around like you look into a couch, a couch cushion and you have that it's like oh there's that um and you know getting something at the right time but, you know, I'm just kind of bringing that up because it's just like, you know, people can do this. Regular people can do this. Uh, so today was good. You know, hopefully that means, you know, we'll continue in this path. And, you know, hopefully we can start, you know, seeing good news. Not even just on the market, just in general. Just because every time, I don't want every time I open up the news to just be awful, awful stuff. But, you know, hopefully, you know, the market is going to be going up and hopefully other things can go with it and like the normal world can start going up and, you know, we can get out of the funk that we're in. But uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right. Bye.